Peace and blessings to you all. Welcome to another great episode of Lesson Plan Juice, where I'll sip the juice on some of my different classroom experiences. My name is Mr. David Moore, and I'm an educator with over 18 years of teaching experience. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about shoes and grades and how neither add up to each other when it comes to our students. I'm a big sneakerhead. I have a pretty big collection of shoes, ranging from Air Jordans, Nike, Reebok, Adidas, Puma, the list goes on and on. And I've always had a passion for sneakers. My family and I just never had the money to afford them. I had at most about two pairs of shoes every school year. I had some nice shoes, but none were really exclusive based off today's standard. I was in my junior year of high school when I bought my first pair of exclusive sneakers. It was a pair of the Air Jordan 13. I remember working my part-time at Taco Bell to save my money to get them. My dad drove me about an hour to mall before it opened to get them from Foot Locker. I'm reminiscing on this experience to make a point. I'm at school every day and I see students with the hottest sneakers. I mean, they have shoes that haven't even come out yet. Purposely, I quiz students on the history of the sneakers they're wearing. Like, what year did those shoes originally come out? Or, what's the specific name of the shoes you're wearing? Most of the kids can't even answer those questions, which leads me to believe that their parents are living through them. What I mean by this is that Parents either wore those sneakers when they were in school, or they didn't wear the best sneakers in school, and they want their kids to have a better experience. I don't think there's anything wrong with this now. There's nothing bad about a parent wanting their kids to have nice things. I just feel like they should be justified when doing this. I can't speak for everyone else's school, but in the school I work at, the students who have the hottest sneakers have the worst grades. They look good, and they dress good, but they are failing miserably when it comes to classroom instruction. I'm bothered by this because it seems as if the priorities of the parent and the student are messed up. I've had situations where report cards would come out on Thursday and Friday, and then the students who were failing would come to school decked down in the latest Air Jordan sneaker. I'm quick to call them out on it too, like, why would your parents buy you these shoes when you have four Fs on your report card? I would even go as far as making failing students take their shoes off during my class time and holding them behind my desk because I personally felt like they didn't deserve to wear them. That may have been wrong on my part, but I felt it was justified due to the circumstances of them not taking my class work seriously. I charge parents to use buying their kids sneakers as an incentive for them making good grades in school. I came from a household that taught me to earn everything I get. I was an honor student in school, and I was a humble young man. I felt like when I got something, I truly deserved it. If I grew up in this generation and made the same good grades, I probably would have every hot pair of sneakers that dropped every week. Rewarding students when they don't care about making good grades creates a negative sense of privilege in them. Too much negative privilege would make these students spoiled and would turn them into materialistic, entitled adults who think going on a first date to the Cheesecake Factory is below their standards. On a closing note from a true sneakerhead, it's important that you teach your kids the history behind the shoes they're wearing. It's more than just the name or brand of the shoe. It's about the history of the person it's named after or the way it shaped our culture. If they know and understand this, I think they would have a better appreciation for what they're wearing and incorporate more positive values in their daily lifestyle. That's my take on this topic. How do you all feel? Tell me in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Lesson Plan Juice. Please tune in next time and sip the juice with me. I thank you all for your support, whether you're a fellow educator, parent, administrator, or regular listener. I appreciate you. God bless you all. Peace.